Hey everyone, welcome to ISTQB Foundation exam questions and answers. And in this video, I'm going to cover another five ISTQB exam questions with detailed explanation. So let's get started. Now we are in the appendix section of this particular question paper. And the first question that we are going to cover is A16. Now what exactly the question is? So which of the following statements about branch testing is correct, right? So out of these four options that you see here, we have to select one option. Option. So let's read them one by one and see which one is cover correct for the branch testing. If a program includes only unconditional branches, then 100% branch coverage can be achieved without executing any test cases. No, that's not correct. Without executing any test cases, you can't achieve any 100% branch coverage. That's absolutely incorrect, right? If the test case ex exercise all unconditional branches in the code, then 100% branch coverage is achieved. So test case exercises all unconditional branches in the code. Okay, then 100% branch coverage is achieved. That's also wrong. If test case exercises all the unconditional branches, that doesn't ensure 100% branch coverage. If 100% statement coverage is achieved, then 100% branch coverage is also achieved. That's wrong as well because this is other way around. If 100% branch coverage is achieved, that means 100% statement is coverage is achieved, but not the other way around. Okay, so by default, we are left with one option, which is D. So that's the correct option. If 100% branch coverage is achieved, then all decision outcomes in each decision statement in the code are exercised, right? So that's the correct one. If 100% branch coverage is achieved, then all decision outcomes in each decision statement in the code is exercised. That's the correct option okay for the branch testing now moving to the next question so the question number a17 what it says is you are testing a mobile application that allows customers to access and manage their bank accounts you are running a test suite that involves evaluating each screen and each field on each screen okay so each screen and each field on each screen against a general list of user interface best practices derived from a popular book on the top Topic that maximizes attractiveness, ease of use and accessibility for such application. Which of the following option best categorizes the test technique that you are using? Okay. Now here you will see that you have a general list, right? So here you will see against a general list of UI user interfaces, best practices, which is derived from a popular book, right? So you are on the screen, you are evaluating each field on the screen against a general list. So you can easily correlate, right? So against a general list, list is a checklist based right so list checklist based it's not you know the black box so the best category that you are performing here is checklist based which is c not exploratory not error guessing you are not doing any error guessing because you have a general checklist that's why it is a checklist based it is not exploratory or it's not a black box okay this is more of a attractiveness ui ease of use accessibility sort of okay so that's a checklist based testing all right and we just here it's just one option so we got answer c moving to the next one a18 so which is the third question of this particular video which of the following best describe the collaborative approach to user story writing okay so now you have to make sure that you read each word in the questions because question might get little tricky sometime the language okay so best describe the collaborative approach to user story writing okay these three keywords we have to keep in mind now let's go to these options one by one first one says user stories are created by testers and developers and then accepted by business representatives absolutely incorrect user stories are not created by testers and developers and then accepted by business representatives that's not correct okay and here we are talking about collaborative approach to user story writing so let's go to the second one user stories are created by business representatives developers and testers together that's very close so let's market user stories are created by business representatives and verified by developers and testers that's also not correct right so it's not a phased activity it's basically a collaborative approach which we have to figure out the best dis best described description of collaborative approach to user story writing then user stories are created in a way that they are independent negotiable valuable estimable small and testable 
So the statement is correct in terms of independently what exactly user story should be. But from the context of this particular question, what they are asking is they are asking the best description of the collaborative approach to user story writing. This is not describing the collaborative approach of user story writing even though about the user story this statement is correct okay but still it is not correct in the context of this particular question right so the correct answer is for the collaborative approach of user story writing user stories are created by business representatives developers and testers together so this is the b is the correct answer okay now moving to the next question which is a19 consider the following part of the test plan okay so now we have to see this particular statement from the test plan testing will be performed using component testing and component integration testing the regulations required to demonstrate that 100% branch coverage is achieved for each component classified as critical okay so which part of the test plan does this part belong to okay now based on this statement where exactly this particular information in which section of the test plan this information fits in okay so testing will be performed using component testing and component integration testing the regulations required to demonstrate that 100% branch coverage is achieved for each component classified as critical all right so here you will see we have four options now let's see what section best fits okay so we have to select one option communication right no, no such you know option there in the test plan risk register no this is not a risk all right this is more of a if, if i on a high level we know that this is a approach that you are going to take right so the correct answer is d but we are eliminating the others context of testing no right this is basically the correct answer is d which is test approach this will go into the test approach section of the test plan okay because here you are specifically mentioning that testing will be performed using component component integration testing and then also 100 percent branch coverage for critical components okay so d is the correct answer for this particular question moving to the last one for this particular video now here your team uses po planning poker okay now in agile planning poker is very common estimation technique very widely used to estimate the test effort for a newly required feature there is a rule in your team that if there is no time to reach full agreement okay you are not reaching full agreement and the variation in the results is small applying rules like accept the number with most votes okay accept the number with most votes can be applied okay so clearly they are showing you the answer accept the number with more votes now let's see what exactly they are asking after two rounds the consensus was not reached so third round was initiated you can see the test estimation results in the table below so these are the three rounds here you'll see in the table and what exactly the team estimated first round they estimated these numbers for a user story they might they might be you know seven team members then second round they estimated these numbers that you see here okay so some some member estimated 13 then 8 8 30 34 13 again consensus was not reached and then round three this was the estimate wherein each team member estimated these story points for completion of the user story now which of the following is best example of the next step now here you will see that in above section they have all clearly mentioned that there is a rule in your team that accept the number with most votes can be applied okay so based on that which option which one option is a best example for the next step so let's go one by one and see so the product owner has to step in and make final decision no product owner doesn't make final decision on the story point or the estimates in agile okay that's absolutely incorrect statement so that's gone except 13 as the final test estimate as this has most of the votes that's very clear that this is the answer but we'll go through the others and eliminate those because why i'm saying this this is the answer because here you'll see that except the number with most votes and here if you'll see that 13 has the most votes 13 has five votes out of seven right so only two people have eight votes but then rest all is 13 so that's why b is the correct answer for this but let's eliminate others and then conclude that b is the correct answer no further action is needed consensus has been reached no the consensus has not been reached consensus would have been reached if everyone would have voted 13 okay 
So that's absolutely baseless statement as well. Now moving to the next one, remove the new feature from the current release because consensus has not been reached. That's not at all a valid point. Removing any feature because consensus is not reached is not how the estimations work. Okay. So finally we conclude that 13 is the correct answer and you can see that this statement itself clearly made this as an answer, right? So you, if you read the question properly, the answers are hidden within the questions itself. Okay. So that's how you are going to apply the strategies in the ISTQB exam and come up to come up with the answers clearly. So that's all for this video. In the next video, I'll cover the remaining questions along with detailed answers for this particular sample exam set. Thank you. See you in the next one.